canals. They've played a vital role in shaping the history and development of civilizations, enabling transportation, trade, and connecting regions like never before. These engineering marvels are not only practical, but they also boast remarkable beauty and ingenuity. So in today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 15 most amazing canals on Earth. Let's begin. Number 15. The Panama Canal the Panama Canal is one of the most impressive feats of engineering in the world. It's a 50-mile-long waterway that connects the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, allowing ships to bypass the treacherous waters of Cape Horn and the Drake Passage at the southern tip of South America. The canal was constructed over a period of 10 years, starting in 1904 and ending in 1914, and it's since become one of the most important trade routes in the world. Before the construction of the canal, ships had to sail around South America to travel between the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. Now, this was a dangerous journey that took weeks to complete and was often plagued by treacherous weather conditions. The idea of constructing a canal across the narrow isthmus of Panama had been discussed for centuries, but it was not until the late 19th century that the technology and funding became available to make it a reality. The construction of the canal was a massive undertaking that required the excavation of more than 170 million cubic yards of earth and the installation of a complex system of locks to raise and lower ships between different levels of the canal. Thousands of workers from around the world were brought in to help with the construction, including many from the Caribbean islands, who were subjected to harsh working conditions and widespread diseases. Despite these challenges, the Panama Canal was completed on schedule and opened up to traffic on August 15, 1914. It quickly became a major trade route, allowing ships to travel between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans in a matter of hours rather than weeks. Today, the canal handles more than 5% of global trade and is a vital lifeline for the economies of the United States, China, and many other countries. The Panama Canal is a remarkable engineering achievement that's changed the world, making it easier and safer for ships to travel between the oceans. Despite its age, the canal continues to play a critical role in global commerce and is sure to remain an important trade route for many years to come. Number 14. The Suez Canal The Suez Canal is an artificial sea-level waterway that connects the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, allowing ships to bypass the long and dangerous trip around the southern tip of Africa. The canal is 120 miles long and was completed in 1869 after a decade of construction. Today, it remains one of the most important trade routes in the world, facilitating transportation of goods between Europe and Asia. The idea of constructing a canal across the isthmus of Suez had been discussed since ancient times, but it wasn't until the 19th century that the technology and funding became available to make a reality. The French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps was the driving force behind the construction of the canal, and he oversaw the excavation of more than 75 million cubic yards of earth to create the waterway. The project was a major engineering feat, and it required a construction of a series of locks to help raise and lower ships between different levels of the canal. The completion of this canal had a major impact upon global trade. It reduced the time and cost of shipping goods between Europe and Asia, and it opened up new markets for goods from around the world. Today, the canal handles more than 10% of global trade, and it's a vital link in the supply chains of many businesses. Despite its importance, the Suez Canal has faced a number of challenges over the years. In 1956, the canal was nationalized by the Egyptian president Gamal Adel Nasser, which led to a military conflict with Britain, France, and Israel. More recently, the canal was temporarily blocked in March of 2021 when the container ship Ever Given ran aground, causing a major disruption to global trade. Number 13. The Kiel Canal The Kiel Canal, also known as the nord Osti Canal in German, is an artificial waterway in northern Germany that connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea. The canal is approximately 98 kilometers long and is a vital shipping route for vessels traveling between the two seas as it provides a shortcut that saves approximately 250 nautical miles compared to the alternative route around Denmark's Jutland Peninsula. The construction of the Kiel Canal began in 1887 and was completed in 1895. It was designed to accommodate larger vessels than the previous canal that had been in operation since the 17th century. Today, the canal is a popular destination for tourists who come to watch the large ships passing through the locks and explore the surrounding towns and countryside. The Kiel Canal plays a vital role in the global shipping industry. It's a key part of the northern European shipping network and handles a significant amount of the cargo traffic between the North Sea and the Baltic. The canal is also an important strategic asset for Germany, as it provides a direct shipping route that avoids the potentially vulnerable and congested waters of the Danish Straits. The canal's faced its share of challenges over the years. During World War II, the canal was closed to shipping and its locks were destroyed by Allied bombing. After the war, the canal was rebuilt and expanded to accommodate larger vessels. 
In recent years, the canal's faced concerns over its environmental impact, as some experts believe that it continues to spread invasive species between the two seas. But despite these challenges, the Kiel Canal remains a vital part of global shipping. Its engineering ingenuity and strategic importance have made it an enduring symbol of Germany's technological prowess and economic might. Number 12. The Erie Canal the Erie Canal is a historic waterway that stretches over 363 miles across New York State, from Albany to Buffalo. Completed in 1825, the canal was a monumental engineering achievement and played a key role in the economic development of the United States. The idea for the Erie Canal was first proposed in the late 1700s, but it wasn't until the early 1800s that construction began in earnest. The canal required excavation of an enormous amount of earth and construction of numerous locks, aqueducts, and other structures. Despite those challenges, the canal was completed in just eight years and was quickly put into use. The Erie Canal had a profound impact on the development of New York and the entire United States for that matter. Prior to its construction, transportation of goods was slow and expensive, with most goods being transported by horse-drawn wagons over rough and often impassable roads. The Erie Canal changed all that, providing a cheap and reliable transportation route that allowed goods to be transported quickly and efficiently. The canal also played a key role in the westward expansion of the United States. It provided a vital link between the eastern seaboard and the Great Lakes region, allowing settlers to move westward in search of new opportunities and resources. The canal also facilitated the growth of cities such as Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse, which became important centers of commerce and industry. Today, the canal is no longer used for commercial shipping, but it remains an important part of American history and culture, being a popular destination for tourists and boaters who come to learn about its role in shaping the history of the United States. Number 11. Caledonian Canal The Caledonian Canal is a remarkable feat of engineering located in the Scottish Highlands. Stretching over 60 miles from Inverness to Corpach, the canals connect several natural locks, including Loch Ness, and provides a vital inland waterway route for vessels traveling to and from the North Sea. The canal was built in the early 19th century by Scottish engineer Thomas Telford, and it required the excavation of a staggering amount of earth, as well as the construction of numerous locks, aqueducts, and swing bridges. Despite those challenges, Telford and his team were able to complete the canal in just 19 years, and it was officially opened in 1822. Today, the Caledonian Canal is a popular destination for tourists and boaters who come to marvel at its engineering ingenuity and to explore the surrounding highlands. The canal is also used for commercial shipping, in particular for the transportation of timber and other forest products from the west coast of Scotland. The canal has played an important role in the history and culture of Scotland. It allowed for the rapid development of trade and commerce in the highlands as goods could be transported more quickly and cheaply than by land. It also played a key role in the development of the Scottish tourism industry, as visitors came from around the world to explore the scenic locks and mountains of the region. Despite its importance, the canal has faced its share of challenges too over the years. In 2005, the canal was closed for several months due to flooding, which caused extensive damage to the canal's infrastructure. However, it was quickly repaired and restored to full operation, and continues to serve as a vital part of Scotland's transportation infrastructure and cultural heritage. Number 10. Lachine Canal the Lachine Canal is a historic canal located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Built in the early 19th century, the canal played a significant role in the industrialization of Montreal, as it allowed boats to bypass the treacherous Lachine Rapids and transport goods between the Great Lakes and the Atlantic Ocean. Construction of this canal began in 1821, and it was completed by 1825. It was initially used to transport timber, but soon became an important transportation route for other goods such as grain, coal, and iron ore. As Montreal grew into a major industrial center, the canal played a crucial role in the city's economic success. Over the years, it underwent several upgrades and renovations, including the addition of larger locks and the installation of electric power to operate the lock gates. However, with the advent of rail and road transportation, the canal gradually lost its importance as a commercial waterway and was officially closed to shipping in 1970. Today, the Lachine Canal is a popular recreational destination, attracting locals and tourists alike who come to walk, bike, or boat along its banks. Lined with parks and bike paths, it features several historic buildings and landmarks, including the Lachine Canal National Historic Site, which offers exhibits and guided tours. It's also an important part of Montreal's history and an iconic landmark of the city. It played a pivotal role in the city's growth and development, and its transformation from a bustling commercial waterway to a peaceful recreational destination is a testament to Montreal's ability to adapt and evolve over time. Number 9. Canal du Midi 
Canal du Midi is a historic waterway in southwestern France that connects the Garonne River to the Mediterranean Sea. It was built in the 17th century and it's renowned for its beauty, engineering feats, and cultural significance too. It's recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Site and is a popular tourist destination. It was built between 1666 and 1681 as a way to transport goods and people between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, requiring extensive excavation and construction of numerous locks, aqueducts, and other structures. The project was overseen by Pierre Paul Riquet, a wealthy landowner who saw the potential of the canal to boost commerce and trade in the region. The canal played a key role in the economic development of southern France, allowing goods to be transported quickly between the country's coasts. It facilitated the growth of cities and towns along its route, including Toulouse and Carcassonne, which became important centers of commerce and industry. Today, the canal is no longer used for commercial shipping, but it remains an important part of France's cultural heritage. It's a popular destination for tourists who come to explore its scenic beauty and learn about its role in shaping the history of the country. It's also a popular destination for boaters, with numerous marinas and docks along its route. Renowned for its beauty, with picturesque villages, lush vineyards, and historic buildings dotting its banks, it's also notable for its engineering, including the multiple locks and aqueducts that allowed boats to navigate the steep terrain of the region. Number 8. Gota Canal Gota Canal is a historic waterway in Sweden that stretches over 190 kilometers from Huertorp on Lake Vänern to Mern on the Baltic Sea. Completed in 1832, the canal is one of Sweden's most important engineering achievements and popular tourist destinations. The idea for the Gota Canal was first proposed in the early 19th century as a way to connect Sweden's west and east coasts to facilitate transportation of goods and people. The canal required extensive excavation and the construction of numerous locks, aqueducts, and other structures. Despite these challenges, the canal was completed in just 22 years, and it was quickly put into use. The Gutta Canal played a key role in the economic development of Sweden too, allowing goods to be transported quickly and efficiently between the country's coasts. It also facilitated the growth of cities and towns along its route, including Stockholm, which became an important center of commerce and industry. Today, the Gutta Canal is no longer used for commercial shipping, but it's now a popular destination for tourists and boaters, with numerous marinas and docks along its route. Its construction and operation changed the course of Swedish history and paved the way for the economic and social development of the country. Today, the canal is a reminder of Sweden's rich cultural heritage and a source of pride for the Swedish people. Number 7. Corinth Canal The Corinth Canal is a historic waterway in Greece that connects the Gulf of Corinth with the Saronic Gulf in the Aegean Sea. The canal, which is 6.4 kilometers long and just 21.4 meters wide, is a remarkable engineering feat that's played a significant role in the region's history. The idea for the Corinth Canal dates back to ancient times, with various rulers and leaders attempting to construct a canal to connect the two seas. However, it wasn't until the late 19th century that the canal was finally completed, after years of excavation and engineering challenges. The canal played a key role in the economic development of Greece, allowing goods to be transported quickly and efficiently between the Aegean and Adriatic seas. It also facilitated the growth of cities and towns along its route, including Corinth and Piraeus, which became important centers of commerce and industry. This canal is no longer used, but attracts a great deal of tourism each year, which is of course good for the country. It remains an important part of Greece's cultural heritage too, with people not only visiting to enjoy the scenic views of the surrounding landscape, but also to marvel at its engineering. Despite its small size, the Corinth Canal has had a significant impact on the region's history and culture. Its construction and operation changed the course of Greek history and paved the way for economic and social development of the country. Number 6. Bridgewater Canal The Bridgewater Canal is a historic waterway in England that was built in the late 18th century to transport coal from the Duke of Bridgewater's mines in Worsley to the growing city of Manchester. The canal is often regarded as the first true canal in Britain and played a significant role in the Industrial Revolution. The canal was designed by James Brindley, a renowned engineer of the time, and was completed in 1761. It was constructed using innovative techniques, including the use of inclined planes and aqueducts to overcome the challenges of the hilly terrain. This allowed the canal to transport coal from the mines to the city more efficiently and at a lower cost. The success of the Bridgewater Canal led to the construction of numerous other canals throughout Britain, transforming the country's transportation and economy. The canal also facilitated the growth of Manchester as a major center of industry and commerce, with the city becoming one of the most important in the country during the 19th century. Today, this canal remains an important part of Britain's cultural heritage and is a popular destination for tourists. The canal has been restored and renovated over the years, with many of the original features and structures still intact. 
The visitors can take boat tours along the canal enjoying the scenic views of the surrounding countryside and historic towns and villages. It is also significant for its environmental impact, as it's provided a habitat for a diverse range of plant and animal species. The canal's also been designated as a site of special scientific interest and is a popular destination for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. Number 5. Houston Ship Channel The Houston Ship Channel is a vital waterway in Texas that connects the port of Houston to the Gulf of Mexico. The channel is 53 miles long and 530 feet wide, and it serves as a major shipping lane for goods such as petroleum, chemicals, and grains. First constructed in the early 1900s, it's since undergone numerous expansions and improvements to accommodate the growing demand for shipping and commerce. Today, the channel is one of the busiest in the world, with over 8,000 vessel transits per year and an annual economic impact of over $300 billion. The channel has played a critical role in the development of the Houston region, facilitating growth of the city's economy and industry, as the Port of Houston is one of the largest in the world and handles over two-thirds of all container traffic in the Gulf of Mexico. The port also serves as a major gateway for the export of American goods to international markets. In addition to its economic significance, the Houston Ship Channel is also important for its environmental stewardship. The channel's operators have implemented numerous measures to protect the surrounding ecosystems and wildlife, including the use of advanced technologies to reduce emissions and the implementation of conservation programs to protect endangered species. That said, there are still many challenges, including the ongoing need for maintenance and upgrades to ensure safe and efficient shipping. However, the channel's operators remain committed to its continued success, recognizing its vital role in the economic development of the region and the country as a whole. Number 4. The Welland Canal the Welland Canal is a historic waterway that connects Lake Ontario to Lake Erie, spanning over 27 miles in southern Ontario in Canada. The canal is an important part of the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway system, which is a vital shipping route for goods between the U.S. and Canada. The first Welland Canal was constructed in 1829, and it was designed to allow ships to bypass Niagara Falls and travel between the two lakes. Since then, the canal has undergone several significant upgrades and expansions to accommodate larger and more modern vessels. Today, the canal features eight locks with a maximum lift of over 300 feet and can accommodate ships of up to 740 feet in length and 78 feet in width. The canal is a vital transportation route for the movement of goods such as iron ore, coal, grain, and other bulk commodities. It handles over 3,000 vessel transits annually, making it one of the busiest waterways in the world. Its strategic location has made it an essential link in the supply chains of both Canada and the U.S., supporting the growth of industry and commerce in the region. In addition to its economic significance, the Welland Canal is also a popular destination for tourists and recreational boaters. Visitors can watch ships pass through the locks or take a boat tour along the canal, enjoying the scenic views of the surrounding countryside and historic towns. However, as with all canals on our list, there are challenges, including the need for ongoing maintenance and upgrades to ensure safe and efficient shipping. However, its operators remain committed to its continued success, recognizing the vital role it plays in supporting the economies of both Canada and the United States. Number 3. Manchester Ship Canal The Manchester Ship Canal is a historic waterway that was built in the late 19th century to connect the industrial city of Manchester to the port of Liverpool. The canal is over 36 miles long and is one of the longest and busiest inland waterways in the UK. Built in response to the growing need for more efficient transportation to move goods to and from Manchester's thriving textile industries, the canal was designed by British engineer Edward Leader Williams and took seven years to build, opening in 1894. The canal was an engineering marvel of its time, featuring numerous locks, swing bridges, and aqueducts to fully navigate the hilly terrain of the region. It allowed for the transportation of raw materials and finished goods directly to and from Manchester's factories, reducing the reliance on congestion and the expensive rail system. Today, the canal remains an important part of the region's economy, handling over 6 million tons of cargo each year, including chemicals, metals, and consumer goods, to and from the port of Liverpool and other destinations around the world. This canal also serves as a popular tourist destination, with boat tours and sightseeing trips along the canal and surrounded by beautiful countryside and historic towns and villages, making it a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts and history buffs alike. In recent years, the Manchester Ship Canal has undergone significant upgrades and modernization efforts, including the construction of a new lock and the expansion of the canal's capacity, which have ensured the continued success and viability of the canal as a critical transportation link for many years to come. Number 2. The Grand Canal of China The Grand Canal of China is one of the most impressive engineering feats in the world. 
It is the longest canal or artificial river in the world, stretching over 1,100 miles from Hangzhou in the south to Beijing in the north. It was originally built over a period of centuries, starting in the 5th century BC and ending in the 7th century AD, and it played a vital role in the development of China's economy and culture. The canal was constructed to facilitate trade and communication between the north and the south of China. It allowed for the transport of goods such as grain, silk, and porcelain, as well as the movement of troops and officials. It was built using the labor of millions of workers over hundreds of years. It required the excavation of massive amounts of earth and the construction of many locks and aqueducts. The construction of the canal had a profound impact on China's economy and culture. It allowed for the rapid development of agriculture and commerce, as goods could be transported more quickly and cheaply here. It also facilitated the spread of Chinese culture, as people and ideas could move more freely throughout the country. Today, the Grand Canal of China remains an important part of the country's transportation infrastructure. While it's no longer the primary mode of transportation for goods and people, it still serves a vital link in China's internal waterway network. It's also become a popular tourist destination, too, with visitors coming from around the world to marvel at its size and engineering. The Grand Canal of China is a remarkable achievement that's played a vital role in the development of China's economy and culture, and it continues to be an important part of the country's infrastructure today. Number 1. Amsterdam Canal Ring well, how could we possibly make a video about canals without talking about Amsterdam? The Amsterdam Canal Ring is a system of interconnected canals and waterways that were constructed in the 17th century and are now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a defining feature of Amsterdam and has played a key role in the city's development and identity. Constructed during the Dutch Golden Age, a time when Amsterdam was one of the wealthiest and most influential cities in the world, the canals were designed as a way to connect the city's many waterways and to facilitate trade and commerce. They were also intended to serve as a defensive barrier, with water serving as a natural moat to protect the city from attack. The Amsterdam Canal Ring is notable for its unique design, which include a series of concentric rings that radiate out from the city center. Lined with elegant townhouses and warehouses, many of which date back to the 17th and 18th centuries, the canal also features numerous bridges, including several iconic drawbridges that are still in use today. The Amsterdam Canal Ring is also one of the city's top tourist attractions. Visitors come from all over the world to explore the canals, which offer a unique perspective on the city and its history. They're also used for transportation with water taxis and canal cruises, providing a convenient way to see the city. As such, efforts have been made to preserve and protect it. In recent years, there's been a renewed focus on sustainability, with efforts to reduce pollution and improve the health of the canals and surrounding waterways. The Amsterdam Canal Ring is a symbol of the city's ingenuity and creativity. Its unique design and engineering have stood the test of time, and it continues to be a defining feature of Amsterdam's landscape and its identity. I'll see you next time. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos. The Top 5 Show has launched channel memberships. Thank you to our channel members.